Hoffaday, thanks for watching PNC. I'm Clint Rogel with your Morning News First. After 10 days of searching, the man who escaped from the Guam Regional Medical City was finally found and put behind bars. 46-year-old Robert Nick Taraba was arrested on the first of the month when officers attempted to execute a traffic pullover on Iseng Song Road. Taraba sustained injuries after losing control of his motorcycle and was taken to GRMC to undergo medical treatment. But police say he escaped from the hospital a few days later. Last night, according to GPD spokesperson Captain Kim Santos, a follow-up investigation by the Mendania Drug Task Force led police to a dead home where Taraba was being harbored. 38-year-old Jeannie Rose Mathis was arrested for hindering apprehension, and 50-year-old Ronnie Marquez Queramit was charged with hindering apprehension and criminal facilitation. The pair was booked and released. The Department of Tomorrow Affairs is asking for an increase in their budget for fiscal year 2018. The DCA received $3.1 million for FY17, but they are requesting $4.3 million for FY18. That's an additional $1.2 million that they are seeking in funding. Senators are concerned about some of the money the DCA has been spending on various contracts for Haganya redevelopment and restoration. Vice Speaker Therese Serlahi had questions about $600,000 worth of contracts for a Haganya redevelopment feasibility study, considering the request for funding for repairs to the island schools. GBB had a budget hearing yesterday afternoon where they presented a $27.8 million budget request for FY18, which is $5.5 million more than their current budget. The Guam National Wildlife Refuge at Retidian will be celebrating Archaeology Day with several events today. The events will run from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. According to a release from U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, there will be a pictograph cave tour from 9 a.m. to 11, archaeology digging activities for kids from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., a presentation by archaeologist Dr. Mike Carson from 12 to 3 p.m., a Song Song Laddie Village tour from 12 to 3 p.m., as well as a special Laddie Loop cave trail and sites tour by Dr. Mike Carson from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. That's your morning news first. I'm Clint Mergell. Thanks for watching and stay Maulig.